in the hey y'all so we are coming at you today with a mukbang i'm here nola got my sidekick here say hi <laughs> we um just got mcdonald's so we're eating some french fries She's got chicken nuggets, and I got a Big Mac here. I've already started eating, but I decided, oh, you know, why don't we have a little mukbang? Because I've seen a lot of YouTubers do it, and I got a few things that I want to talk about. So we're going to chit-chat, talk, and get into it. You know, something that I really love about Guam is that their fast food is always fresh. Like, I grew up in Virginia. And their freaking um, machines were pretty much always down. Like, their ice cream machines. They seem to have attitudes when... They put my food together if I asked them for some extra sauce. What happened? Little yellow. Yeah, yellow's on the ground. It's her toy. Yellow's on the ground, baby. You'll have to get it later, okay? Eat your chicken nugget. Eat your french fry. So, like, they would just be having attitudes, and it was always, like, younger people. Here, they seem to have older people that are working. So, you know, when them older people get in the kitchen, they be cooking. So... Their food's always fresher. And then what I also like, sorry if I'm being rude by chewing and eating, but it's a book bomb. What I also like is the fact that when they, um, sorry, what am I talking about? I like that they don't have taxes. So once again, in Virginia, they have a tax for everything. So if you trying to get a four for four, it's not just going to be $4. It's going to be like $4.95. Okay, we always got to bring that extra few dollars just in case. Here, if it's four dollars, it's four dollars. So, I know there's some places back in the states that are like that, but I like that a lot here. Um, yeah, they just treat you with respect. I had a Big Mac in so long, but I told Nola I would get her chicken nuggets and French fries, and I was like, mm, that Big Mac looked good. So yeah, we've been here for four, almost five months now. Isn't that crazy? We've almost been here half a year in Guam. And I'm really liking it. Yeah. We're really liking it. Of course, with the coronavirus, yeah. things are still a little weird. Now, I will say that um, in Guam, it's not as bad as it is in the States. But we just had a case on one of the bases over here. So... Even though everything's pretty much open and back up, we're not allowed to sit down and eat out and stuff like that. So, kind of unfortunate. We just have to take stuff to go. But I've heard in a few places in the States, they don't mandate people to wear masks. But no matter what, if you go, like, in a store or something, you have to wear a mask. Like, Best that's edge. one of the requirements. Best edge. Hmm. Sorry, my husband messed with me. That's one of the requirements. Is you have to wear a mask, so... I was like really shocked when I saw that video about that guy in Walmart or trying to get into Walmart without a mask. I was like, are people really this like out of control that they want to get into these stores so bad without a mask? It's not even just your health. You're jeopardizing other people's health because I know personally, like children under a certain age don't have to wear masks here. So my daughter, she's only two, she doesn't wear a mask. So if you decided that you wanted to not go into this store with a mask on and you do have coronavirus, you have the possibility to affect my child and get her sick. Are you people really that selfish? Yes, you are. And that's why, I don't be care. When I be going in these stores and stuff, even with mask on, I be keeping my distance. You're not gonna be all up in my child's face, all up in my face. Well, my husband will stand right there in the line close to people and I'm like look mm -mm, get on this tape you see this tape stand on this tape he's like what are we gonna do all squeeze on the tape I'm like yes yeah, so we are <laughs> but yeah so it's nice that things are opening back up and it's nice to be here on the island um our anniversary is coming up it's July 3rd so 
it's really nice because it's the day before the 4th of July. So even though we can't go out to dinner, I think I'm going to put him together a romantic dinner. Oh, let me show you some of the things we got. So I just got back from the store. So it's going to be our one year anniversary, one year wedding anniversary. We've been together for three, four years now, but it's going to be our one year wedding anniversary. So since we're going to be in the house board and in the house board, um, one of the things I got is like these little tower things. So I figured we could play like a little drinking game with that. I'm gonna set us up a nice romantic dinner. Um, and we're either gonna have it on the porch or in the dining room. And I'm gonna put like candlelights and some lights and stuff. Um, I also, I have a bad problem with overspending money. So they were having a sale at the BX. So I got Nola this little swimsuit. She wears a 3T. It was, hold on baby. It was on sale for $5.57, but then they were having an extra 25% off. Then I got me this black little rumper. It like has little ruffles at the front. Hold on, baby, hold on. It has black ruffles at the front. And yeah, it's just a little rumper set. Right. And it's like she off right. the shoulder. Yeah, so I thought that was cute. Then these were on sale for $4.50. I had got me one in red, but then I went back and got my husband one. So I'm gonna give him the red one and then I'm gonna keep this one because this is more like a girly color. Even though he probably wouldn't care. Then for our wedding anniversary, so I was kind of reading up on it. And so for like your first year, you're supposed to have, um, it's supposed to be paper, which I kind of read mixed things. So correct me if I'm wrong or tell me if I'm right. Tell me if I'm right or correct me if I'm wrong. But um, so they say that for the first year wedding gifts, the first one is paper. Eat your food, baby. Eat your food. She's dipping her sauce or her French fries in her sauce. She told me to shh. Daddy's sleeping. Daddy's sleeping. Daddy's at work. So I don't know what she's talking about, but she told me to shh. So I guess I'm talking too loud. But, um,. So they said one of the like more um, traditional ones was paper. Sorry about that, y'all. This video is probably gonna have her screaming and yelling in the background. Usually she's asleep when I'm making my videos, but she's up now. And she'd rather play than eat her chicken nuggets and french fries. I don't really mind, but that means this is gonna be dinner. So for dinner tonight, we're having chicken and waffles. So yeah, anyway, I'm getting off track. So I was talking about the gifts. So the first one, um, the more traditional one, they said was paper for the first year wedding anniversary gift. And I think paper is supposed to signify like, you know, you're fresh into the marriage still and like things can be easily torn, but at the same time, you're still writing the pages. I don't know if that's true. That's just some of the stuff I read on Google. You let me know if that's true or not. I don't know. But anyway, so I am like super duper traditional and romantic. Hold on. She wants me to put together her toy that she's just going to throw on the ground and bust open and then tell me to put it together again. Hold it. So one of the things I got him, he always like has little notepads at work and stuff. So I got him a little notepad and it says all weather tough. So it's supposed to be able to use it through mud, sweat, water, and grease, which is perfect for him because he um, works out in environments that has all those things. So I got him that for the paper. Then the next thing, like more modern gift, they said is supposed to be like a clock which I didn't even read the purpose of that. I was just like, okay, a clock. So I got him a little Fitbit that he could use to um, track his sleeping. You get smartphone notifications, up to five days battery life, swim proof. So I thought this would be nice for him to check the time when he's working and then also to monitor his steps a little bit. So that's what I got him. Nothing crazy, but so. Yeah, we're still trying to figure out whether or not he's going to be off for our anniversary or not. He's going to ask, but we're not for sure. So, I was thinking we're probably going to go hiking or something else. So, I'm going to make that its own vlog next week. Our anniversary and then the 4th of July. I might combine them together, but if it's too much footage, then I'll make them separate. 
so. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm about to put her to sleep soon after this, and then I'm going to do some homework and watch some Married at First Sight. My sister also sent me a link to a TV show. I can't remember the name of it. I know it's something ratchet. I like TV shows that have drama. Um, so, yeah, we're going to watch reality TV. I'm going to watch it, and then she's going to watch it, and then we're going to text, talk, and be like, oh, you see that? Oh, she hair in the back of the head. Ooh. So, we'll do that. And other than that, I'm pretty much just relaxing. Um, I'm also going to um, look up some jobs because with this whole pandemic, I'm supposed to be a first-year teacher coming this term, but now we don't even know how we're returning to school. Like, when I've been looking at most of these job sites, um, when I originally looked at it when we first got here, they had, like, certified teacher positions. Now, I don't even see it up there. Okay, don't yell, baby. Don't yell, okay? Shh. Shh. Good job. Good job. So, um, I don't know. I'm probably going to have to check out some different, um, obviously I still put in applications, but I'm probably going to have to check out, like, some private schools and maybe even do, like, some aid work or something for special education. I don't know. But I need to work, y'all. A lot of military spouses um, stay home and they take care of, like, the kids and stuff. I love my child, but she need to go to daycare. I like to work. I like to have my own income. I have a master's degree. I'm working on my Ph.D., like, I get it. It's hard to do that when you're a military spouse. But I met my husband after he was in the service for a little bit and after I had already got a bachelor's degree. So, and you know, once you get your bachelor's degree, it's easy to get master's and stuff. So, I got to work, y'all. I need to have my own income. I love my husband, and I know he'll take care of me. But I want to be able to spend like I want to spend. I don't want him to come home and be like, or I don't want to have to message him and be like, hey, babe. Can I have $100 for what? To buy these clothes. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, I got to have my own money. So, I'm going to apply for some jobs. But anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. So, I just kind of wanted to get up here and just make kind of like a fun little mukbang thing. So, I'm going to continue eating and then I'm going to put her to bed. Okay. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will.